So give me a minute to catch my breath Take what's yours, I'll take what's left We used to come in a second best Always fail to pass the test I'll be damned if I'm leaving without Was it always this good? Because I remember it being this good. Because now it kind of tastes like the in and out spread to me. Okay. Okay, wait. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In today's video, we're actually breaking up with Postmates. I know, shocking. We've actually been together for like, I wanna say about seven years now, but it wasn't until about five years ago is when we started to get serious. And then during the pandemic, we basically got married. And so today is the day that I think we have to let them go. <laughs> Just because I've been looking at our bank statements and I am generally shocked at how much we spend for Postmates. I'm gonna dig into this and kind of get into the numbers and get an average of how much we spent monthly on Postmates just to give you an idea of why we need to break up. And while I think it's still an amazing service and very convenient, I think we just need some time apart to recalibrate our thought process about how we consume our food. Basically get back to cooking some meals throughout the week, at least majority of the week we should be cooking. But yeah, I feel like it's time and Donnie is on board and so I have my remarkable two right here that I'm going to plan out this week's menu so that I can go grocery shopping tomorrow. But before we get into all that, I'm gonna log on our bank accounts and basically give you guys some numbers about how much we pay for our Postmates on average per month. Okay, so I have all of our statements downloaded and this is a little scary because I'm gonna blur it, but I don't know if you can see all these lines. A lot of that is actually food. I was gonna see if I should enter restaurants, but I'm not gonna include restaurants because I feel like that's more like entertainment and going out. So I'm just gonna highlight literally every food delivery order we have. Calculate all that and then I will check back with you guys. I'm scared, but you know what? We gotta do it. Okay, I'm like kind of shaking because this is kind of freaking crazy. Okay, the total from January to October like 10th, right now it's October 23rd, so like a couple weeks ago, we've spent... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Before I give you guys this number, just know that the reason we post made it a lot is because we actually also spent a lot of money on groceries and we need to work on being able to cook some staple meals throughout the week because usually when I want to cook, it's some like fancy, if you will, sort of meal because like I'm, I'm one of those people who like to cook only when I'm inspired to cook something. What we have to do is learn to just cook our staple meals throughout the week. We also cook for like four to six people we don't know how to cook for two people. My thought process with that is to have leftovers, but then also those leftovers are like so much because I'm cooking for so many people. I'm actually really glad I did this because it is eye-opening. This isn't even including going out to eat or the meals that we cooked at home. I just want to be transparent and I think <laughs> this is a learning experience for me and Donnie. Without further ado, from January to October 10th, we have spent $11,225 on Postmates. And so basically if you divide that in 10 months, that is on average $1,122 a month on just Postmates. And if you divide that by four, give or take per week, we're spending $280 a week on Postmates, which man, that is ridiculous. Whoa, this, this has to change. And yeah, I'm like letting this sink in right now. And wow, hold on. <laughs> okay. I kind of gathered myself and you know, like it does sound ridiculous, but at the same time, like I said, there's some things we have to learn in terms of budgeting for food. That's probably the worst thing we do is spend so much money on food. And also like really grocery shopping. Like the other day I went shopping to cook my spaghetti and I got out of Vons with a $70 bill just from spaghetti. And I think that's when I start to think, okay, well, I could have just ordered spaghetti on Postmates for like $40. So that's kind of the thought process we had. And we just kind of have to unlearn and not make an excuse that when I go grocery shopping, it's more expensive. I just have to learn how to grocery shop smart, smartly. 
more smart, more effectively, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest problems too is when we do grocery shop, we usually go for a single meal in mind versus plan out the week. That way you're doubling up on ingredients. That's sort of where we're at with this video and I am gonna go shopping tomorrow. I'll take you guys along and then we kind of see how much we spent and factor that into this whole breaking up with Postmates. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's the next day. We're about to head to the grocery store to buy some groceries for the week. Oh my god, this is for telephones. I am shook. Alright guys, not bad so far. That total was I think $56, so totally not bad for three menu items. Don is going to shop for what he wants to cook, so I'm going to let him do that. We are now on our way, well, we, we got a Starbucks, so I'm going to grab a Starbucks, which I haven't been drinking or buying coffee in a while, so this is sort of like a one-off thing. I buy coffee maybe once or twice a week now. And then I'm gonna head to a local Filipino market just to grab a few more things and then we'll be back home and I'll do a haul with you guys. All right, so I got my coffee and I'm at my 17 hour of my fast and I usually like to try to reach at least 18 hours. You know what, it is progress, not perfection. So I am going to enjoy my coffee a little early right now. I got, I got shy because someone just parked next to me. <laughs> Yum. My favorite drink right now at Starbucks is the Grande Brown Sugar Oat Milk Shaken Espresso. It's only 120 calories if you get the Grande. It's not super sweet and I feel like I can actually taste the espresso because they, I prefer the brown sugar sweetener they use. I think, I feel like the other sweeteners that they use in Starbucks drinks overpowers the actual espresso so I don't really taste it. So I really like this one. Mmm, I feel like this is the only drink I like at Starbucks now. Okay, one last stop and then we'll be home. We're back home. Let me just do a quick haul for you guys. So tonight, like I said, we are doing fish sticks, rice, and a salted egg dish. The salted egg dish is like a condiment that you can use with your rice. And if you eat it with something crunchy, it's super delicious. So that one is just with some salted egg that you can get at most Asian grocery stores. And then all you do is chop that up with some onion, some tomatoes, and then Donnie likes his with some cilantro, so I picked up some cilantro as well. And then I also got some stuff for a Impossible Burger, since we have Impossible Patties. So I got brioche buns, some cheddar cheese, butter lettuce, in case you want to do a lettuce wrap as well. We'll use some of the tomatoes that we got for the other dish. And I got my favorite pickles. It is bread and butter pickles. They're like more on the sweeter side, they're so good. And then obviously we have like ketchup mayo. We can use some of the onions we got from other dishes. And then for the stir fry, we just bought a bunch of vegetables. First, let's start with the canned stuff. So I like to add baby corn to mine for crunch, as well as some water chestnuts. Same thing with the snow peas. Another little crunchy moment there. And then I just got like one squash, some oyster mushrooms, bella mushrooms. Also have some carrots that we can put in there. Bell pepper, onion, bean sprouts broccoli, and also some Thai chilies to make it spicy. I usually won't add a protein to this to keep it plant-based, but I felt like a little Cajun sausage might be delicious with this. So, so far that's three meals. And then I went ahead and bought some extra stuff. I got some corned beef because we went to the local Filipino market down the street. All I do is fry that up with some onions and then I add some air fried chopped potatoes to that. Super good, you just eat it with rice. Also found this at that Filipino market, but it's a spicy dipping sauce. This looks really good. All of this should last us all up until Sunday, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Six days worth of food and the goal is to eat this for dinner and then whatever leftovers we have, use it for lunch as well. And because I fast, I don't really eat breakfast. So the total for this haul at Vaughn's, we spent 54 bucks and then at the Filipino store, we spent 
36 so that's about $90, which is pretty good. Way better than 280 that we were spending on average on Postmates. So tonight we are doing fish sticks, which, one second. So we got this fish sticks a couple weeks ago at Costco, and I think this is like 16 bucks. There's so much in here. There's like, says 60. But I love these because you could just air fry them and they're so crunchy and it's so good with the rice and salted egg dish. So I will show you guys that tonight. All right, so I think I'm just gonna wrap up the work day. Also got a delivery I wanna share with you guys. So I'm gonna put this away, show you guys what I got in the mail and then finish off the work day. I ended up buying a new lens because I sold two lenses and this is gonna replace that one lens. I think it will be beneficial for when I help my friends shoot weddings and also when I do like portraits for friends. Christmas is coming up and I know a lot of people are gonna ask me for a Christmas photo. So I think this will be a very versatile lens for that. But it is a 35 millimeter to 150 millimeter lens and it goes from f2 to 2.8, which is bonkers. Like the fact that I can shoot 35 millimeters at f2 and then in a second shoot 150 millimeters at f2.8 is pretty game changing in terms of versatility in the look of the shot. So you can go from wide to telephoto. Absolutely amazing with a fast aperture. I also got this on Amazon refurbished, so it was like $500 off retail. So here it is, it's Amazon renewed. Here it is, whoa, this is a hefty, hefty lens. I could already feel how heavy the box is. But that's okay because like I said, the versatility is what's important to me. Whoa. This lens is massive. Whoa, would you look at that. Wow, this looks brand new. You can't even tell. That is insane. Actually, not too bad. Like, the size is actually really great considering what you're getting. All right, let's get this on my a7 IV, though. Holy crap. I'm gonna take a picture and then show it to you guys. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect for weddings and portrait shoots. 35 millimeter f2. And then I am gonna go out to 135 over here. Let's go back to 35 millimeters. Let's go look at you guys. All right, so 35 is right here. And then let's zoom into 150. This is gonna be so good for events, weddings, portraits, so versatile. All right, so dinner is served. Let me move you guys a little bit. Here is my masterpiece of my fish sticks. And then this is the salted egg with some tomatoes, onions, and cilantro, and some white rice. So basically you kind of mix the salted egg mixture with your white rice as you eat it with the fish sticks. So this is my little gourmet fish stick meal. Also have some Blue Monkey sparkling watermelon juice that we're going to drink tonight for dinner. Ooh. So pretty. Cheers. <sighs> Donnie's on call today, so he's actually on his way home a little bit later than usual. So I'm just gonna dig in because I need to film anyways. Let's go in with a fish stick. So I just air fried these fish sticks. Look how crispy it is for the air fry. So basically, what I like to do is do a little mixture of the salted egg tomatoes, and then just bite. Mmm, that's delicious. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this meal and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Actually, I will see you bright early in the morning tomorrow because we're gonna go stand up paddle boarding over in Coronado. There is a place that we can launch by the bay that has a beautiful view of the Coronado Bridge. <coughs> Donnie just got home, so he's gonna join me and sit at the dining table because we're trying to utilize our dining table, not like stand and eat like we normally do. I am still watching Goodbye. YouTube. <laughs> watching um, my girl. Watching my girl, Miss Philly. She's a thrifter in Canada, super funny. I'll link her channel down below. She's always supporting me. Oh shit, sorry. Always supporting me, so love her. Okay, for else, I'll see you tomorrow.
I got it. Seagulls flying I'm gonna get my phone out. So this connects over there to the 5 freeway and then this takes you to Coronado. Downtown is over there. You see the skyline. Hey guys, what's up? It is the next day and as you saw from the previous clips, we just came back from paddle boarding over at Coronado Bay. It was really nice but also very choppy. It's probably the choppiest session we've had since I've started my paddle boarding era, but it was still fun. But before I get into work, I do have some stuff I want to take a picture of because I want to sell it on OfferUp. They've just been laying around and I'm like, I need to look around, especially a lot of my tech gear and just put things on there and sell because they're just gathering dust, they're taking up space and I just don't need them anymore. So the first one I want to try and sell is the Sony WMX5s. These are really good headphones and I forced myself to try using them the other day while I was working and I don't know, for some reason they just got really hot in my ears and then I remembered that's why I stopped using them. I pretty much just wear AirPods. I'm gonna put these up for sale. Look how gorgeous that color is. I think this is like a stone color. I don't know, they're really pretty but if I'm not gonna use them, I gotta let them go. So I'm gonna take pictures of these and put them on offer up in Facebook Marketplace as well. <laughs> And then the other one I need to take a picture of is this InCase DSLR Pro backpack. And I got this years ago and it's a sling bag. So basically it goes over your shoulder like that. And it's cool because you can uh, tighten it really easy or let it loose. Um, but I got this when I was shooting a lot of weddings and it actually holds a lot of gear which I don't need right now or anymore because I don't shoot a ton and I also now prefer backpacks over sling packs when they're this big because I feel like it distributes the weight better on your shoulders so I'm gonna let this guy go but it's almost like in perfectly new condition so it needs to go to a new home a good home so gotta let this guy go so those are the two things I am going to take pictures of right now and post them and then probably throughout the week or maybe today if I have time, I'll kind of look around my office to see what else I don't use and put them up for sale because going through all my stuff because we're doing this whole getting rid of our Postmates habit, trying to save more money, spend less, and I think that also can translate into the rest of my life where I just have a lot of stuff and I need to organize and get a little bit more minimal with my things. My dad, he was a hoarder, so I think I get a little bit of um, my holding on to things from him. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take these pictures and then for lunch, I'm actually having leftovers. <laughs> some fish sticks. And then tonight I'm gonna cook some Impossible Burgers. I have been feeling really good. I know it's only been a couple days since like we've transitioned into this trying to not Postmates as much and a couple days isn't really anything when you're setting out to do something, but I do have to say I feel already a lot better knowing that we can save a lot of money or not spend so much money on things we don't need to. And that is gonna be my goal for 2024 is just to really get more financially smart, save a lot more money, yeah, but still have fun because what's the point of saving money if you're gonna die tomorrow and you're like you don't get to use it so I think there's a fine line and a fine balance of being responsible and saving but also using your money to enjoy your life because tomorrow is not promised so especially since me and Donnie don't have kids where does this stuff we work so hard for go well I know where it's going because it's going to my niece and nephew my side anyways but yeah that's one of the things we got to think about as a gay couple who is not planning a family i guess you could be straight too and not have a family that's totally normal as well i mean i'm just speaking for myself also a quick tip about taking photos or reselling things especially if a lot of it is tech and really high priced I usually like to take my photos in the same exact spot or at least area where you're seeing similar things in the background. So I have this wood table that I take most of my electronic photos in so that when someone is buying something and they see multiple items in the same area, they kind of get a sense of like, okay, this guy's legit because he has multiple things and they're being taken in the same area where sometimes maybe if you have like stumble upon a profile and they have just like a bunch of listings and maybe it seems a little off because the pictures are all different. But yeah, that's just something I like to do and it helps, I think it helps me sell my gear a lot quicker. All right, let's go take some photos.
It is now lunchtime and I am eating leftover fish sticks. Aren't you guys proud of me? Baby steps. Aiko's actually with the dog groomer right now. I'm gonna link him down below in case you guys are in the San Diego area. His name is Miguel and the company is called Dog Street Mobile Groomer. He's awesome, his prices are actually really reasonable. It's just so convenient to be able to get your dog groomed at your house. So he has a cool little van. I'll take some video right now and show you guys, but he has a van. He does a really good job. What I do for them is just like a, a bath, a de-shedding treatment, a brushing of the teeth, nail clipping, and then a little blueberry facial, which they come out smelling so good in the face. You just wanna keep kissing them. And then he adds like a little bandana at the end. And if you guys have pets and you didn't know there's mobile dog grooming, you should definitely look it up because it is so convenient. Aiko got done with the groomer. Wow, baby, good girl. Heroes with the groomer now. You look so clean again, but girl. Sit, sit. Good baby. Oh yeah, also, by the way, this uh, ottoman came in for this sectional. It was a whole ordeal again. Again, this is from Floyd, and it's their Floyd Sink Down sectional, and I actually did like a recording of when it delivered. So yeah, I wasn't actually doing any vlog content at the time, but I did want to record it, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that here so you guys can see what happened. <laughs> My Floyd ottoman was delivered. The box literally fell as they were bringing it here. So I really don't know what's going on with their packaging team. I feel like they really need to work on this because if people are paying a lot of money and just basically getting plastic bag over their couches and put on the driveway, that's not very good. Okay, but let me show you guys where it's supposed to go. Again, this is not sponsored. This was gifted to me and they didn't pay me for this or tell me to do a video. So I want to put it over there. But our issue is we really love this Togo chair over here in the corner. And so if we put that here, it might look way too cluttered. Obviously I have to move this coffee table over and then probably push this back so that there's more breathing room on this side. Cause I could push this back maybe, I wanna say like a couple feet more because there's like a lot of room back here, which is I think sort of just a little bit of wasted space. Oh, it's heavy. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's heavy. Again, my toxic trait, I'm gonna just do it alone because I'm impatient. Oh. Okay, so I don't see any damage or any stains, so I think it's a-okay, but still, I gotta work on that. Hi, go. You think they gotta work on it? Tell, tell the vlog. Tell him, Floyd, you gotta work on packaging. Hire me. <laughs> One interesting thing I noticed though is that this ottoman is actually attached. So you could see the seams right here, it's attached, where these actually have some hardware that is attached to them. So I was thinking it was gonna be similar to this, but I kinda like that it's attached so it doesn't move about. And I guess that would look ugly if you saw the hardware, so. That's good. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. So here is the current situation. We got the coffee table moved. I do like that there's a lot of space here now for the girls to play because they always run around the coffee table. So I feel like now they can have like a spot here to play. And then also we can put like pillows down here if people gather and wanna sit. But overall, I don't know how I feel. Like I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it yet. And I don't know if that's just because I'm not a sectional type of person. Oh my god. <laughs> I will say though, this is super comfortable. This feels like a bed. Oh my god, so comfortable. It's like a bed with a view. Look, at least they have a play area here now. They don't have to go around the coffee table anymore. 
Oh gosh, they heard me talking. <laughs> play, go play. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the delivery team over at Floyd, or not the delivery team, sorry, but the, the packaging team, that's the word I was looking for. I don't know what's going on with their packaging team, but they need to do some work because it's a little bit wild how much money you're paying for a couch and then it comes like falling out of a box, but yeah, I mean, I can't complain too much because this was a gift from them and I'm so appreciative and packaging aside it is my favorite couch so far that I've, we've owned in the video clips you just saw i was like really hesitant how i felt about the sectional in our space now that we've been living with the sectional for a while i actually really do like it it actually makes the space a little bit more homey and i can actually just lounge right here or watch a movie or binge a show hi baby and just show or sometimes i even play video games and just yeah so it's it's very comfortable <gasps> wow they both have bandanas Hero, you smell good again. All right guys, here is our dinner tonight. It is an impossible burger with a brioche bun and some french fries. In the burger, I just did some QP mayo, ketchup, and then the classic onion, lettuce, tomatoes. So let's give it a taste. I did buy cheese. I totally forgot to put cheese in here. Crap. All good. Let's just give it a bite. Look at that. That looks really delicious. Mmm. That is so good. Just some frozen rally fries that we air fried. Yum. Don is on call again today, so he's gonna be home around five. When he's on call, I usually eat because I don't like to eat too late. Just kidding, he's actually home. He got home rather quick today for being on call. Honestly, it actually feels really good cooking. And I think the problem was, whenever I would cook, babe, whenever I would cook, it would be this like grandioso recipe with so many steps and blah, 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 blah. So got to a point where I don't want to cook anymore and we just Postmates or door dashed. But now that I'm actually actively thinking about cooking every day, I'm going with recipes that are simple to do like this. Like all I really cooked was the patties, the fries, you just throw in the air fryer and then everything else you just prepare by cutting the tomatoes, onions, getting the lettuce ready. So not a lot of cooking here and it's delicious and I'm really happy that we were cooking. So that was, I think that's the main takeaway from this so far is not every meal has to be this gourmet recipe. Hi babe. He said, right. All right, we're gonna eat, finish up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mmm. So good. Hey guys, it's actually the next day, but I didn't really film today because I was so busy, and then I forgot that I was picking up my nephews from school, and then I had to babysit them until about 5.30 today, so it's already six o'clock. Just got home and instead of cooking or doing Postmates, decided to just do leftover burgers from yesterday. So we had the Impossible Burger here. Any other time, this would definitely have been a Postmates situation, but we are sticking to it and really trying to make a change of this habit. Also, I have a La Croix right here. Another habit I'm trying to kick to the curb is drinking too much Coke Zero. Anyways, I just wanted to jump on real quick and update you guys, but nothing really happening today. So I will touch base with you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, what is up? It is now Sunday. Last clip you saw, I believe I was cooking an Asian stir fry, which was delicious by the way. Ended up eating that off camera with Donnie, spending some quality time with him since I've been filming our dinners this whole week. Then yesterday was Saturday, which I did a wedding with a friend and that was all day. I was out for about 10 hours and so I just had leftovers for a little light breakfast. They ended up serving us dinner so you get vendor meals and sometimes you get what the guests are eating so we had a choice of salmon or steak and I chose steak but hey that was free which is great and so no money was spent over the weekend so far today's Sunday also while I was at the wedding Donnie ended up eating leftovers and I was really proud of him because I thought he was gonna postmate so I was like good job babe <laughs> But now it's Sunday, I am drinking mud water. If you guys haven't heard, there are like companies doing caffeine alternative drinks and these are based off of mushrooms. I actually did some content for them and have been drinking it ever since and really, really like it. So kind of another habit I'm trying to break is limiting my caffeine intake through coffee and drinking mud water. A lot of the reviews kind of say it tastes earthy. I feel like there is like earth tones to it, but I find it actually really creamy, especially with the creamer. And there's like a hint of cinnamon as well. So yeah, basically it's supposed to give you a lot of the benefits caffeine does, but without the jitters or without the caffeine side effects or whatnot. And basically my reasoning for limiting my caffeine intake is just to get a better night's sleep. I find sometimes when I take pre-workout, drink coffee, have a Coke Zero, it's so hard for me to sleep. So I can limit that and get better night's sleep I'm all for it and so far so good oh yeah I'm back to the wedding yesterday um, so I used to shoot weddings often if you guys are new here but since I want to say a little bit before the pandemic I kind of started slowing down just because it was getting so stressful for me being the main shooter and the main person responsible for like your wedding day your wedding photos it's a lot to take on and I just started to get to a point where the morning of a wedding I would like almost throw up I would be coughing and wanting to gag and just my anxiety reached a high where I was like this isn't really healthy for me and so like I had to quit I do have a friend who still shoots and I love shooting with her so I will second shoot with her but still I still get a little bit anxious as well but yesterday's couple was so cute so let me show you guys they were such a cute couple their wedding was over at Bally High in Shelter Island and the day was gorgeous like the weather you couldn't have asked for better weather in October in San Diego but like I said today is Sunday and just wanted to give some last minute thoughts about this whole experiment of not postmating for the week and I have to say I'm so happy I decided to do this a, not only just because we are saving a ton of money, but B, it's like I feel less lazy just waiting for our food. And I had a good time because I cooked meals that were simple and like maybe one or two meals throughout the week could be a fun recipe. But I think if I stick to these easy meals, this is going to be a piece of cake for us. I'm not saying we're not going to Postmates or DoorDash because honestly we are going to DoorDash or Postmates today just because it's been a long week. We're not quitting delivery service, we're just limiting the amount of times we do it. And also it made me look at other habits that I do that I'm not particularly fond of, like giving up a little bit more caffeine. But it's also not about just giving up those habits, it's also about replacing those habits with better ones. Alright guys, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different video for me, but I am glad I did it. Make sure to hit that like button, share this video with anyone you think might like my content, and also leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or just want to say hi. Love talking to you guys. And with that said, as always, thank you so much for watching. And and if you can, try to choose happy over sad today and I will catch you in the next video. Bye everyone. Cheers.